good day this message is for sun sign in aries sun signs in aries this week your spiritual message is that you have a current or former friend that is recruiting their friends to spiritually attack you there's currently tears in your energy field that are designed to deplete your energy. Whoever and whatever is lacking direction and focus, you need to block. Cut cords and utilize fire magic using a photo of yourself and a sigil and consecrate it to fire. You also need to pray, chant, and speak affirmations to support your spiritual development and assist you in your daily life. Messages from the universe regarding your recent past lesson or blessing. There was an unfair advantage in the need to build your skills and confidence after being drained by negative people. You are insecure about some opportunities to manifest your long-term vision, and there was an imbalanced partnership and a need to find self-love. Now, presently, you may be lying to yourself about self-doubt. You need to free yourself by making different choices and remove negative thoughts, patterns, addictions, and people. Accept and forgive mistakes done by you and others. Change your focus and really put an end to unhealthy relationships. Although the reality of this is disappointing, keep your heart as light as a feather. Now regarding the near future, you need to slow down and prioritize. Live frugally and Balance your personal and work life. Go within and follow your own advice in regards to your financial health. Accept your worth and be in flow with the universe by being grounded. If you are a parent, keep that as your main focus along with helping your children choose healthy habits such as eating and exercising and good health overall. If you're not a parent, you need to focus on good health and exercise. Karma messages are from planet Neptune. Neptune says there's more to the reality of your being than what meets the eye. The world of your dreams is just as real as any other. If you put faith only in the world of your senses, you will always know a hunger that will never be satisfied. Diplomatically inspire others with your goals. In the day-to-day -day reality of balance and cooperation is that you need to be prepared. Do not focus on getting a fair deal um, that may be being imposed by your partner or partners. Yielding is the only way and the business-like way to sacrifice your idolization of relationships. Your chakra wisdom card is your crown chakra. The theme is selflessness. Be kind to all. Be aware that everything you do or say affects others. Help those who seek it and seek out ways to be of service. Develop an attitude of looking for ways to help others instead of always waiting to be asked. Everything you do, do from a spiritual perspective and put your heart into it. Your how to love yourself affirmation is, I trust the intelligence 
within me. There are no problems that do not have a solution. There are no questions without answers. Your healing mantra is invoking self-realization. Each breath confirms how awake I already am. This mantra is ideal for managing pain and relaxing the nervous system along with reducing stress. Self-realization is a spontaneous remembrance of your interconnection to all that is. You are willing to embrace your individuality as a unique expression of source and physical form. By aligning with the breath, you see that while you appear to be a person, it is the universe that breathes everything into existence. Your self-care for your soul. Your inner child wants you to spend some time alone. Let your loved ones know you need a few minutes out the day for the next week to spend alone to meditate. Your present self wants you to write a gratitude list. Every day this week, write five to 10 things that you are grateful for, either when you get up in the morning or before you go to bed, but you need to make sure you write down what you're grateful for. Your higher self wants you to be still. In stillness, you will find your center and hear the messages that are meant for you. Stillness is not a distancing of ourselves from our daily activities, but a deepening of our relationship to them. Schedule a time to rest in stillness. Create a cozy environment and be sure to communicate with people around you so they understand your need to be free from interruptions. Even five minutes can have a significant impact on your mental state. Reflect on how the stillness makes you feel and consider how more stillness on a regular, ideally daily basis could be supportive for your overall self-care practices. That's like three or four times the universe has told you to meditate and get your own answers. Now, whether you choose to act on those answers and do what's best for you, it's free will. Just know the universe ain't gonna play for it. You know, play with you if they said do this and you do that, okay? Your relationship card, single or not, love, romance, was trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Now, whether that's you single looking for somebody, just trust and have faith that the universe has who's for you. If you're in a relationship, trust whatever the universe is telling you about your significant other. Your soul's journey card is perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. As a soul, you are on a mission in this physical dimension. You are the only one who knows the correct path to take. Your intuition, which is your connection to spirit, is your compass. You have the power to stay the course and you are stronger and more determined than you might first think. In order, to make, in order to experience many success in life, you must mature and realize the strength within yourself and the quality of inner courage. Life doesn't just happen, we make it happen. It is natural for us in this human school to shy away from what we believe to be difficult because we concern ourselves with how others will perceive us. We are afraid of failure, ridicule, or coming up short. Now is the time to make the proper changes and take risks and do things you never thought you could do before. 
your soul must learn to become aware of its inner strength. Live the joyfulness your soul yearns for and engage in activities you've always wanted to try but were afraid you fail at. Your soul will not yearn for something that you couldn't accomplish. You have the strength and fortitude to be capable of greatness. And your last card is the universe has your back. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. That's like the fourth or fifth time the universe is telling you to be still because it has some messages for you that um, you need to hear. All right, so those are the messages I have for you, Sun Signs and Aries, and I'll see you next time. My Palo Santos done fell like two, three times during this video. So you all also need to get you some Palo Santos. Okay? All right.